Welcome back to Up North at Four, and joining us now we have James Pearson, Brian Carpenter. They are two of the brewers at the Rhinelander Brewing Company. So, you two are the ones who make the magic happen behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, What absolutely. are the secrets that you can tell us right now? <laughs> No, I can't share any secrets. Oh, yeah. You can't tell us the secrets, Nate. <laughs> Good try, though. Good try. Yeah, I yeah. thought I had them. I thought I had them. Uh, of course, though, we're get, getting ready for this weekend up north beer fest in Eagle River. And this is a huge deal, deal. for a lot of brewers, a lot of companies, uh, not just from Wisconsin, but people mm -hmm. from different states all across the country. So, Brian, I'll ask you, what are you most excited about for this weekend? Well, I think um, what's nice about it is you get a combination of, of breweries, from not only around the area, but mm -hmm. all over the state. Even you got one coming from Illinois. Yeah. So, I mean, like, we got our, our buddies down at um, Third Space, down in the Third Ward, down in Milwaukee. You got locals such as Rocky Reef, mm -hmm. um, Some Nerve. I mean, you're going to have ourselves there, Tribute. Of course, yeah. Um, and, there, you know, I mean, there's, there's more. I mean, you got, like, Still Mank in, in Green Bay. You got Osos and Plover. So, I mean, it's... All over the place. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a great little distribution um, of beers, and people have, you know, hopefully they come with their sampling hats on. I was going to say, yeah. kind of like some yeah, networking, absolutely. too, yeah. it sounds like, right? right? Well, let's talk uh, Rhinelander Brewery. So I'm curious. Like, you know how, like, Chicago has the car show and Detroit does as well? Is this an event where you can go to or to debut new products? To debut, like, a new line of beer? Or what's, what's this about? Yeah, sure, absolutely. In fact, um, we did brew a new sour for this event, kind of. I mean, it's for the summer, but, like, um, it has not been released yet, so we're going to use this event to kind of launch it. Okay. Um, so we have done a line of sours uh, for over a year now, kind of partnering with Tart Start mm -hmm. in town. Tart Start. <laughs> Tart Start. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Art Start. We've called, I, them, I, I we've called them the Tart Start, start line. I'm sorry. It's it's just, I'm so used like, to say that. I know. <laughs> right, sorry. Um, but so there's a Goza style where you add salt to it, and okay. um, this is our first attempt at that. And, uh, oh. Are those catching we, on? We, are the Tart beers I feel like catching I've seen on? Them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay. It's definitely a And I, I'm always curious style. then, because... Um, I'm sure like an event like this, you get a lot of feedback from people, you know, just they like it, they don't like it, change this. Sure. How yeah. much do you, like, how much stock do you take in like an event like this where people kind of come in from all over the place and they go, hmm, ooh, like you start to notice like trends, people coming back and sampling this particular beer. Do you guys like ever take like mental notes for the future? <laughs> Well, we we do a lot of documentation with our recipes and stuff, and right. then yeah, and then you know, there's times where like we even had a local that came in and, a couple of years ago and said, you know, hey, what about a bacon beer? <laughs> so I decided, why not? Yeah, right. <laughs> why not? I went home and I and I made a smoked maple bacon yes, please. and just made it at home and shared it with you know uh -huh. the locals and and at a local I guess uh, event too, and I scored myself a silver medal, but. Anyway, that was, brag. Brag. That was a really brag. good brag. beer. Right. Bacon and goes cheese great with a, as a Cheese curd as a, next time. Bacon go, cheeseburger. You know, goes great with a, like a Bloody Mary. So Ooh, oh, that was, that does it was really right. good. So. I kind of wonder, though. I mean, the, the, the beer industry changes like on a dime, it seems like, right? What's popular Absolutely. changes quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you stay ahead of that curve? Like, How do you know what's coming up next? <laughs> Don't it's a really tough have, one, right? Yeah, it's, it's a kinda, tough one. Exactly. It just starts to just, happen and you kind of react to it, right? Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Always sampling new beers and just trying to, like, you know, <laughs> brew clones yeah. when we can. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. We get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, like a couple years ago, the Fed was uh, barrel-aging beer, and, mm -hmm. and then COVID hit us, and it was like, hey, what a great opportunity for us. We can't, we're not selling very many beers, but if we they got to soak in a barrel, so yeah. it's going to yeah. take time, and this end time will pass. Mm -hmm. right. and, then, and then, boom, so we had some great... You know, barrel aged beers, and then we started we started creating some sours, and then yeah. we we created a couple of seltzers re recently too. So yeah. we get a little combination of everybody, it's so they a little bit, yeah. you know people come yeah. in and they're like, hey, Absolutely. I you know I'm not a beer person, I'm like oh we got a we got a sour kind of a beer, but we got a mm -hmm. seltzer, and they're like, oh really? <laughs> so next thing you know, they're like, huh? and they're like, oh can I have another? And, uh -huh. like, uh -huh. and then the ball's rolling. All right, all this talk though, exactly. my mouth's starting to water here. I need to sample some of these. We're gonna do that though after the break. So stick with us. And I'm sorry. Can I have another? <laughs> yeah. No, you can <laughs> may I have another. <laughs> Too funny. So you guys got. Welcome back to Up North at Four, joined by James and Brian, two of the brewers at Rhinelander Brewing Company, gearing up for Beer Fest, which mm -hmm. kicks off tomorrow. tomorrow. A, a sort of a, a VIP premiere. Premiere night. Yes, premiere exactly. night is the, yeah. is the name of it. And uh, you guys are bringing two beers for tomorrow, expanding Correct. that to four. 
uh, on Saturday as the larger crowd gets in. I am curious, what are you guys all, what's the plan for what you're bringing uh, this weekend? Um, so tomorrow night we're going to be bringing our Belgian double mm -hmm. um, and our uh, ESB. Okay. Um, so those are kind of like higher ABV. They're more of our specialty beers. They're not out, um, you know, throughout the entirety of the year. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for the VIP crowd, we're kind of bringing specialties. That's us, though, by the way. We're, 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 we're taking the show there tomorrow. We'll be there. Oh, heck yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So right. I'll probably have to stop by at some point. But yeah. yeah. Hey, where's that, so double? that double? Where's that double? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and then obviously uh, on Saturday, expanding that to four, I'm sure the, the plan for that is to kind of get a little more of a wider range for people and their tastes yeah. out there, right? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, we'll have four completely different beers yeah. on Friday. We'll have our um, pineapple goes. Um, we'll have our cow egg cream ale. We'll have yeah. our um, corn on the cob. Um, yeah, that's a saison. Yep, saison. <laughs> that we've oh, tried out this cool. year. Corn on the cob. Yeah. Corn on macab. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and, and our, Irish red. Yeah, our our silver medal U.S. Open. Yeah. Yeah, national, national award red. winner. Irish yeah, Irish red. National award winner. Yeah. yeah, I mean Nate's the king of the dive bars. Like he goes to all these <laughs> bars and he finds the coolest little beers. You're not going to find our bar our beers there. So oh, yeah, you'll <laughs> <laughs> find them. He'll find if there's a beer, <laughs> yeah, I will find, find it. All right. I'll find it. You said though that the uh, the Goza is the one that you're the newer one that you're going to be showing. Yeah, that we're trying to prime. Yeah, prime on, on Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you said. Did you say this was a pineapple? pineapple? Yeah, pineapple Goza. I know there's people out there who are into beers, and maybe some people who are going, "What the heck are they? What a Goza pineapple beer? What are they talking about? How would you describe a Goza to the people at home?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a different. It's different, right? Yeah. Exactly. So we start with our sour base. Okay. Um, but we sweeten it up with with pineapple uh, puree, um, and then we add salt on top of that <laughs> to try so to make it a little more sour complex. and tangy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. It's like eating lot going mix. on there. It is. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. But Just M &Ms like Jack's mix, right? <laughs> totally. Yeah. It's a little different. Yeah. So I'm thinking, though, while you know, one in Rome, while we got you here, do you mind if we uh, crack this thing open and give her a go? Sure. Absolutely. This is, this is my transition into. I just want to drink. Sure, have, have, a, have a glass here, yeah. gentlemen, as well. We do goza. Goza. Also, I honestly yeah. thought it was goes for the longest time, but goza mm -hmm. it sounds more fun to say. Yeah. yeah. It does. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. There's a double. The, is it the bell? Double. Double, double. We like to say it know. goes uh, down real well. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. oh, I'm spilling a party foul. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to spill Nate. all over you. Sorry, gentlemen. I think you already did on my leg. On your new leg? <laughs> there we go. We'll pass, pass this on. over to you guys. So, all right. I'm already smelling like the sour pineapple-y scent to it. We're about to have a yeah. little toast right to a... Sure. To a great weekend, beer fest, beer fest, and this summer year. as well. To exploring new beers. Yeah, cheers, Thank gentlemen, gentlemen for joining with it. us. Heck yeah, hey. I'm sure we'll see you tomorrow when we're out Absolutely. there. Absolutely, check it out as well Looking this weekend. To Try this, goes Indeed. Are ready for this? It is sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good. Ooh, ooh, it's got ooh. a little sour. Yep, there it is. is. Yep, it's covered up a little bit. Huh? Should finish kind of dry. You feel them like yeah. right in here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come get some Indeed. this weekend at Beer Fest. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll be back. All right. Nothing like that for. Cheers. Yeah. There's like oh. five different flavors in here. I, I, yeah. I yeah.